Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the today's technical interview experience for the LTI Mind Tree. This interview happened today only, that is on 30th July 2024. So, guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because every question discussed in this video will be important for you because the same question might be asked from you also. So, make sure that you are present on this channel, uh, on this video till the end of it. Okay, and guys, do join this Telegram group because a lot of discussions regarding Mind Tree are happening there. So, if you have any doubts, the, the doubts can be resolved here only okay so do join this group okay so let's start this video now and do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate us for making more such videos so guys now let's start with the interview experience okay so guys the first question as you all know will be introduce yourself you can include your uh, educational background okay your skills your projects your internships your extra activities your any achievement if you have all these things you can include in your introduce yourself and there can be a good answer of one and a one to one and a half minutes okay moving ahead next question was tell me something about your project so guys in these type of companies the project plays a very important role see the interview interview will be of approximately like 20, 25 to 30 minutes so how will the interviewer know that okay you are capable of so by, by seeing the projects that you have made so interview can judge you okay that okay you know these things you have known the you have worked on project you know these technologies as well okay and you have to explain your project very well in the interview if you don't know how to explain your project there's a dedicated video that is present on my channel so i will give the video link in the i button or in the description box make sure to check it okay moving to the next question what programming language you are most comfortable in so the student answer python but you can also tell java also c plus plus also any based on your uh, uh, understand okay next is write a program to check if a number is a power of two so guys yes there can be certain easy coding questions that can be asked from you in the interview also okay at the interview level also so make sure that you are preparing prepared for that that also okay so this is the code that is given for it you can take the screenshot for it okay if you wish okay let's just move ahead i hope the question is clear to you next question is explain oops concepts so as OOPs concepts are, there are four main OOPs concepts, abstraction, polymorphism, encapsulation, inheritance. So uh, there are different different types of inheritance also, polymorphism also. So all those you should know. How to explain OOPs concept in detail in the interview. Again, the video link you can find in the i button or in the description box. I hope this question is clear to you. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that we have important interview IT subject notes on our top mid page. So in these notes, total 12 subjects we have covered. So that includes C++, Java, Python, DBMS, SQL, coding questions, uh, interviews, so, and so on. So for every subject, we have at least 20 to 25 important interview questions with their answers. Okay. So if I open this Java PDF, you can see here, like what we have done, we have defined the question. We have given the answer that you have, to, how you have to explain it to the interviewer. And we have also provided the code also, so that you just don't learn the answer itself you understand the concept also if it is asked in the interview so all these subjects you can see the list on the screen all these subjects we have covered in these notes if you wish that okay if you feel that these notes will be beneficial for you which according to me it will be it will help you for your last minute preparation and revising the concept if you wish so you can buy these notes at a nominal price of rupees 99 all the links will find in the description box for the for the regarding regarding these notes okay so now let's continue the video Next is what are the different types of data structures you know, explain them all. So there can be different different data structures, there can be array, there are linked list, there is stack, there is queue, there is dq, there are heaps. So all these are different, different types of data structure and you can just explain two to three lines of the definition, two to three lines of definition there. Okay, I hope this question is also clear to you. Next is explain the difference between array list and list. Okay, so simply, <clears throat> what is the difference between list and array? So list can consist of elements belonging to different data types also so yes so see in array we all know that either array can contain integer values either array can contain string values okay but list at a certain time can contain all data types at once only okay so the list cannot directly handle the arithmetic operations that is obvious and arrays can directly handle the arithmetic operations okay no need to explicitly import a module for the declaration no need to explicitly import an array module for declaration okay that is in python or uh, in java also okay next question is he asked what is a tuple so a tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable that is tuple in python are immutable that is once defined the tuples cannot change okay the tuples cannot change i hope this is clear to you 
Next is explain exception handling in Python. So yeah, there are try catch blocks in Python also. So the code in which the exception can occur, we will be putting that into the try block. And once the exception occurs, we need to do certain operations or after that exception. So that piece of code we can write in the catch block. So this is a basic exception handling framework in Python also. Next is what a dictionary is in Python. So again, this is what a dictionary is. It is just a key value pair. So we store the data in the form of key value pair. Nothing a bit complex. You can just give an example and explain it to the interviewer. He will be happy for it. Okay. Next question is, do you know SQL? So it's dependent on you. It is dependent on you that you know SQL or not. Next question is, what are the aggregate functions in SQL? So there are five aggregate functions, min, max, average, sum, count. Okay. So these are the aggregate functions that are present in the SQL. Next is what is normalization? So normalization, why we do it and what are different types of normalization? So all these things you should know. Okay, these are present in my notes also as I have shown you earlier. So these are present in these notes also. All these questions that have been discussed in this particular interview, around 70 to 80 percent questions are from these notes also. So if you are interested in buying it, the links are in the description box. Okay, for every subject we have the important interview questions. For every subject around 20 to 25 questions we have defined in these particular PDFs. So if you are interested, the links are in the description box for buying. These particular notes will be helping you for revising the concepts and for your last minute preparation. Okay, so many of you I know you have interviewed today also, tomorrow and on the 1st August also. So if you are not prepared for this interview, then like you can check out these notes. They can help you for the preparation. So around 7 to 80% questions that have been covered in this particular interview are from these PDFs only. Okay, you can check, you can check and confirm for yourself. Okay. Next normalization we have discussed there are different types of normalization. Next is write an SQL query to print the nth highest salary from a given table. So nth highest salary. So this is the query for it. Select salary from table name, order by salary descending, limit n minus 1 and 1. So n minus 1 here refers to that how many rows you should skip and next value represent how many stores, uh, how many rows after skipping you should print. So this is what a uh, SQL query for nth highest salary is. So I hope this is clear to you. Next is explain joins in SQL. So there are like majorly four types of joins in SQL. There is left join, there is right join, sorry. There is left join, there is right join and inner join and full join. So in right join what happens is in right join uh, we join two tables and uh, the data that is present on the right side and the common data between two tables is taken. Similarly is the left join when we join two tables the data of the left table plus the data that is common is taken. In inner join only the common data is taken between two tables. In full join all the data whether it is common or whether it is belonging to single table are taken. Okay. In the SQL. In the full join. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. Next last question of this interview was any questions you have for me. So guys for this particular thing always ask questions from the interviewer that, that it will show the interviewer that yes you are interested in the job. Okay. Uh, yes you are interested in the job and you are not just like giving the interview just for the sake of getting the job. Okay. So these were all the questions which were which were, were happened in this particular technical discussion of the uh, technical round of mind tree. Okay, so many more interview experiences I will find on telegram group also and will share among you. Okay, till then what you have to do you just have to be present on the telegram group any doubts you have you can resolve it there also. Okay, and if you are interested in these notes, okay, uh, you can buy it the links are in the description box. These are at a very nominal price of rupees 99. So I have generally made it affordable for you. So if you are interested and you want to check out the links are in the description box. Okay. So guys, this was it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. Do hit that like and subscribe button because more such videos I will be posting on this channel.